had no idea that having kids could be so much different. Don't you hit me! They're not quite as easy as I thought it'd be. I don't hit mommy. <laughs> Skylar's very difficult. She's got some rage issues. <laughs> Skylar! She just goes ballistic. Stop it! My words. Frank absolutely does not get as much of our attention because of our daughter. I'm sad to say I don't spend enough time with my son. Frank doesn't like to wake up in the morning, and when I do get him up, I have to physically dress him while he's in the bed. Frank, how come you never help me get yourself dressed in the morning? Because I'm tired. He's seven years old. This is way beyond a joke here. I would just like my family to be happy. I'm not going to be good. Uh, Super Nanny, help us. We can't stop our daughter's fits. We don't have the answers, and we really need help. Mom and Dad, I'm on my way. Good morning. Good morning. Pleased to meet you. I'm Joe. I'm Frank. Good. This is my wife, Danielle. Pleased How to meet you, Danielle. How are you? Good. Very early in the morning, I know. It sure is. <laughs> but I've heard that you've got issues that need to be sorted out regarding the mornings and getting the children up and ready for school. Sure so. do. Joe's presence felt very strong, kind of almost like a principle. I felt as if school was about to begin. What I would like you both to do today is just to carry on as normal, make out I'm not here, I'm gonna be a fly on the wall, okay. and I'm gonna watch and observe you okay. with the children today, okay? I felt so relieved that Joe was at the house and I was finally gonna get some answers to my crazy household. And. Uh, I'm correct. I think it's school time. Right? Sure is. Sure is. Cooking dinner. Danielle started to prepare dinner, and Skylar wouldn't let her do so. She wanted to be picked up constantly. She's used to screaming, knowing that you'll pick her up. But what you know is she's perfectly fine. If you pick her up, what you're doing is you're teaching Skylar that every time she behaves this way, it wants you just to pick her up. Danielle couldn't bear Skylar's crying, and then she broke down. What's this virus? What is it that you feel is going on right now? I just hate her and her scream. What, what, what's it making you feel right now? I don't want to give her away. I just hate her and her cry. Okay. You feel bad because you are not letting her have her own way. Okay. Who's being a good mother right now and getting dinner on the go for the whole family? So, be a positive parent. Come down and say, darling, mummy can't hold you right now. I'm cooking, okay? It gave me a lot of strength to have Joe there. I break down easily with all the crying and chaos and running, and I just feel like it's never going to work. When I'm done, call me dinner. Don't say it! Don't say it! Hold you. No problem with daddy. Go. No, no, I'm sorry. Skylar, you don't no. hit mommy. That is nice. Give her a warning and tell her if she does it again, she would go on the naughty chair. I'm behind you right all the way here, Danielle. You are taking the power. Watching my daughter taking it so tough, just wanted to grab her, scoop her up. You need to stay here. It was very hard in the beginning. I don't think I would have been able to get Skylar to stay in the naughty chair by myself now. Bring her back to the area and say, I help you. you've heard her. I Fair enough, you want to help me, but you need to say sorry for your behavior before you can help mommy. You can help mommy, but you need to say you're sorry first for how you acted earlier. Once you apologize, you can help me. Skylar would not apologize, and it just dragged on. But Danielle was very persistent, and she became increasingly confident. What do you need to say to mommy? What do you need to say to mommy? You can come out of timeout when you apologize. What do you need to say to me? Sorry. Thank you. What was that? Give me a hug. When Skylar admitted she was sorry, 
Hallelujah. <laughs> the chair worked. I'm really, really proud of you. Well done.